One in three bites of your food is the result of the hard work of busy bumblebees. And these insects are vital to our ecosystem because they pollinate hundreds of species of plants. However, these bumblebee populations are in trouble, but the Toledo Zoo is working on a solution. Well, um, we have a number of prairies that we've installed here at the Toledo Zoo, and these uh, prairies are basically introducing native plants back into the landscape, all right? And most of the time when you drive around the city of Toledo, you see an empty field. It's mostly a monoculture of grasses of various species, okay? And some of those grasses aren't even native to the United States. These prairies are our attempt to reintroduce native plants back into our, again, our native landscape. Planting um, these native flowers um, will um, obviously attract then native bumblebees. And bumblebees and bees in general pollinators um, have been in decline in the United States for a variety of reasons. So, for instance, the, the bees that generally most people think about are honeybees. Honeybees, most people don't know, but they're not even native to the United States. They're uh, originally from Europe, and they were brought over because of honey production. Well, unfortunately, over the last few years, um, honeybees have suffered from a, a variety of ailments. Well, with the loss of honeybees, there have been no native bees to move in to take over those po that pollinating role. And pollinators are really, really important to us. Um, one um, out of every three bites of food that we take are the result of something that a pollinator has done. Tomatoes are pollinated exclusively by bumblebees. Um, they use a technique called buzz pollination that the bumblebee actually grabs the pollen producing organ on the flower, vibrates its wings at a certain frequency, and when it does that, the pollen actually jumps onto the bumblebee. We collect our information about the bees here in a couple of different ways. One is by just going out with a net and just sweeping. So we'll just make a kind of like a predetermined path through the prairies and then we'll check various flowers and then we'll take a net and sweep the area with the net and then we'll take a look at that bumblebee to see what species it is. All right, and then we'll also gather data on the number of species that we see during a fixed period of time. So we can make an estimate on population size. And hopefully what we'll see over time is we'll see an increase in the diversity of the various types of pollinators that would be in a prairie. So for instance, last year, before the prairies got established, I would expect to see a lower diversity in the number of bees that we um, would see compared to this year when the prairies are really looking great and there's a lot of flowers in them. The Bumblebee Project um, is supported by Wild Toledo and Wild Toledo is an initiative at the zoo and actually in the entire city of Toledo to re-establish native habitat and to increase our diversity of the flora, the plants and the fauna, the animals that are found in these prairies. There are many opportunities to contribute to conservation today. By giving to Coins for Conservation, making a donation, even when guests come here to the zoo or a person renews their membership, they help support Wild Toledo and help support their initiatives of reestablishing our native prairies, our native plants and animals here in Northwest Ohio. The next time you sit down for dinner, thank the thousands of bees it took to make your food. I hope you enjoyed learning all about these incredible insects and what the Toledo Zoo does to protect them in the wild. Thanks for watching.